I started to realize, as I yeah. said, when I saw Edge of the Earth and saw your name, I thought, I know this name. And I realized I've seen a lot of things that you've scored. And Audrey and Daisy, I loved it. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. John Wayne Gacy freaked me out. Um, <laughs> I yeah. wonder a couple things. It's one of those dumb questions that if somebody asked me, I'd say, well, let me be patronizing and try and be uh, not say to you what I would want you to attempt to say, which is, oh, dude, it's such a dumb question. But no you focus questions. a lot. <laughs> you focused, for good or, gooder or badder, a lot of your work is in documentaries. Number one, there's like three questions in a row. Is that by design or is that just by the karmic nature of that's where the work is coming from? That's one. Two, mm -hmm. is there anything that you can think of, because I can't, that distinguishes writing narrative and documentary music? I don't, you know, when you're writing a guy going up a cliff, it could be Sylvester Stallone going up for cliffhanger or Adrian and Emily, but I wonder... And I kind of know the answer, but I wanted your thoughts both about scoring documentaries musically and also is that a zone that you are in by design or that's where karmically you're in right now? That's a great question. Um, I can unravel it in a sort of a longer backstory Please. response. But Thank you. Um, so the you know the very first film that I scored was actually a really cool little indie thriller psychological thing. Uh, it was called Limbus, and, you know, it unfortunately never really went anywhere, but one thing that came out of it that was amazing was I got asked by the director, like, hey, we don't really have any money. I mean, I was like, you know, I was like 19, 20 years old, I think. Can we put one asterisk? I really mm -hmm. want to hear this, but I, I think a lot of people will want to know what I want to know, which is, so you're 19 or 20, where were you? How did you get the gig? Was this a dream of yours to score Limbus or any movie? And then I want to hear what happened with Limbus, but just one paragraph of backstory. Oh, yeah. Possible. Well, okay, so I'll go back about three years before this, right? Um, I was a touring musician. Uh, I, yeah. I toured around the world, you know, we, I played guitar and did a bunch of multi-instrumentalist stuff. Um, and we, you know, the, the band sort of parted ways and, and I was left wondering like, okay, I'm 20 years old. Like, what am I going to do? I started young too. Like I was touring when I was, I was 16. Um, where are you? Which coast? Uh, so Virginia beach or, um, Virginia beach. Right yeah. On. Yeah. East Coast and yep. uh, kind of split my time between uh, sort of in the DC area. Mm -hmm. And then um, we, you know, parted ways with the band and, and I tried a couple little side projects here and there, and, but nothing was really taken off. And um, I met a handful of directors while I was on the road, you know, guys that were mostly shooting, uh, you know, like behind the scenes stuff for bands for touring and they were yeah. doing commercials and stuff like that. And I just thought, you know, these are cool people. Like I did, I mm. wasn't thinking ahead in the future. I had no idea that that would lead to anything. Um, but you know, we just kept in touch and we're really good friends. And then, uh, fast forward, you know, through a couple really rough years of, of like not making any money, no longer touring, like wondering what the hell am I um, I reconnected with a couple of those people, uh, that hmm. I'd met on the road that were filming and, and they were doing commercials. So I started doing some commercial work nice. and then, uh, I, I guess somewhere along the way, one of the commercials that I worked on was seen by, a, a, a filmmaker who went to college with the guy that directed that commercial. And he was like, oh, cool, you know, I, I love that. He did a great job. And I've got this indie narrative thing, and I want him to score it. So he hits me up. 
and it was just this cosmic thing you know and was that limbus yes and that was limbus right and so he he was like look we've got this me and my friends made this really beautiful like sci-fi afterlife kind of thriller thing um i've got no money but we're somehow and i don't know how this actually happened i i'm still curious but they, he was like, oh, but we're mixing it at the Skywalker Ranch in San Francisco. And for some reason, Gary Rizzo at the Skywalker Ranch was like, I love your movie. It's awesome. Yeah, I'll totally mix it for you. And, you know, and so anyways, the director, Brandon, was like, well, I, you know, I can fly you out here and that's about all I can do. And I was like, done. Let's do it. So I went out there and we mixed it at Skywalker and. Did you sleep at Skywalker in those artist studios? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. I mean, I'm 20 years old, you know, at Skywalker, and, like, we're we're just having the time of our life, right? Uh, I mean, it's unreal. And, yeah, yeah, and, you know, Gary's, like, the the mixing engineer there, he was like, this is really good music. Like, you should try to score movies and stuff. So I think... uh, yeah, I think about six months later, I was like, I proposed to my girlfriend and we moved to LA and I was Perfect. like, I'm just going to try this, you know, Perfect. why not? I got nothing to lose. Yeah, um, so we did that, but backing up a little bit while I was at Skywalker, I ran into a, uh, a filmmaker at the, you know, they all have like lunch in this similar com- communal area, right? Commissary. Yeah. 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 And so there was this filmmaker there and he was like, man, you know, I'm making a doc about my mom. She's going through this terrible, you know, Alzheimer's and, and uh, it's a really personal story and I can't find the right music for it. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm available, I guess. I do this now. This is what I do, you know? And so, um, yeah, that, that film is called The Genius of Marion, but it was a documentary feature, and it premiered at Tribeca a couple months later, the Tribeca Film Festival. And, um, man, I think just, like, ever since then, and then a couple months after that, Audrey and Daisy came in. Yeah. The directors, Bonnie Cohen and, and John Shank, saw The Genius of Marion, and they were like, oh, wow, yeah, we love that music. You know, it's another personal story with Audrey and Daisy. Let's work on that film together. And... And then, you know, obviously that premiered it at uh, Sundance and some yeah. Netflix. And, um, so hopefully that kind of... that's the first time I saw your name and heard your music was that picture, which was so good and interesting. And to think that it was your third movie? It was early, early days, yeah. I guess maybe one uh, one that I had just before that was, uh, was Hot Girls Wanted, which was a really... Good. Just, crazy film to Gnarly. work on but good title yeah yeah uh d- dark very dark movie